China's People's Liberation Army has launched a fresh wave of military drills in the Taiwan Strait just hours before President Tsai Ing-wen prepares to meet with U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy in California. A joint cruise and patrol operation has begun in the northern and central parts of the Taiwan Strait. The three-day operation involves multiple maritime enforcement vessels. Taiwan's defense ministry says that a Chinese aircraft carrier group passed through waters near the island's southeast and that it is closely monitoring the situation. Miss Tsai will hold talks with Mr. McCarthy at the Reagan Library in Los Angeles in just a few hours from now. It will be the first time that a Taiwanese president meets with a top American official on U.S. soil. Taipei has called the unprecedented meeting a, quote, rare opportunity, even as the move risks provoking tensions with China. Well, for more, Kate Fisher joins us live. She is in Washington, D.C. Kate, both Taiwan and the U.S. are defying China's warning. Uh, they're forging ahead with this meeting. Is it just to stoke tensions further, or does Washington actually have a game plan with these talks? I think it is to not stoke tensions further if it does have a game plan, although this meeting is going ahead. The US continues to try to tread this fine line of being defiant towards China and uh, trying to show them that any thoughts of an invasion of the island should not be considered, but at the same time as trying not to antagonize Beijing. And it is a very difficult line to tread. Uh, three U.S. senators, we understand as well, already met with uh, Tsai in uh, New York when she made her first stop over here. And they had discussions about whether to try to introduce legislation that would enforce sanctions on China should it invade uh, Taiwan. So that's one way of trying to manage this. And then uh, when she uh, gets back to Taipei, uh, she will be receiving a bipartisan delegation of uh, U.S. Uh, Congress members on Saturday. So uh, although this meeting is getting all the headlines, uh, the, the, the relations between Washington and Taipei continue at many different levels. And um, they are trying to keep this going and to, as I say, tread a fine line between not antagonizing China but continuing to show that Taipei does have Washington's support. Well, manage this situation as the United States might try, Kate. Uh, relations between these two have been skating on thin ice for quite some time. How has Washington prepared for the fallout from these talks? For surely there will be some type of uh, reaction. Yeah, I think it's uh, undoubtedly there will be some sort of military response from China. And I'm sure Washington is well aware of that, given the example they had when Nancy Pelosi, the previous House Speaker, uh, visited and those huge military drills ensued. So they will be prepared for that. Uh, the White House has always continued to say its main uh, line that it, it brings out when with regards to Taiwan, uh, sorry, to China, its relationship with China is to manage the lines of communication, manage communication and not uh, and not conflict. And that is the way they will continue to do it. The White House has made it clear that it sees uh, this trip as uh, routine. It's just a stopover. Uh, and it doesn't, and it has warned Beijing that it shouldn't see it as any kind of provocation. All right, Kate, thank you very much for that. Kate Fisher there in Washington, D.C.